India has done it. It has become now the fourth country to land a spacecraft on the moon after the U.S. and China and the former Soviet Union. Just moments ago, we're talking just a... India has made space history, becoming the first nation to soft land a spacecraft on the moon's south pole. India has become the first nation to successfully land a spacecraft near the south pole of the moon. The country's PM Narendra Modi has praised the achievement, saying that the mission's success belongs to all of humanity. The spacecraft Chandrayaan-3 is attempting to become the first to land on the moon's south pole. India is the first country in the world to land a spacecraft near the moon's south pole, a moment of history for the country. It was a tense final six minutes as it descended onto the lunar surface. Let's show you the moment. First of all, let's take you. This agency is celebrating the successful moon landing of its Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. Okay, now India's lunar probe, Chandrayaan-3, has landed on the moon's south pole. India is the first country to touch down on this part of the moon, which is believed to hold pockets. We begin with some historic news. India has become the first country in the world to successfully land a craft near the moon's south pole. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was watching the mission from South Africa and congratulated the team back home. Let's take a closer look at why there's been a rise in interest in the moon's southern pole. Well, the area is said to be home to frozen water, which could be a source of drinking water, fuel and oxygen for future moon explorations. But attempts to land on the surface of the moon had proven challenging. That was until now. In 2019, India's Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft attempted to touch down but failed. Rough terrain was cited as one of the reasons. And just a few days ago, Russia's first mission to the moon in nearly 50 years ended with disappointment after its Lunar 25 spacecraft crashed on landing. India has, has done it. It has become now the fourth country to land a spacecraft on the moon after the U.S. and China and the former Soviet Union. Just moments ago, we're talking just a couple of minutes, the Sandrayaan-3 spacecraft landed on the lunar south pole. Look at the celebration here. India's space research organization is already sharing stunning photos from the mission. And look at these pictures of the approach. Mm. It's a rare close-up of the moon's kind of dusty gray terrain. This mission comes as space programs around the world are racing to get to the moon. This weekend, you'll remember Russia failed to land a spacecraft on the moon. NASA has announced multiple crewed lunar missions, including plans to have the first woman and person of color on the moon's surface. But India landed on the south pole of the moon, and experts believe there could be ice, mineral deposits, valuable elements there. Arveta Kasu joins us live in New Delhi with more. I can only imagine. The Indian spacecraft Chandrayaan-3 is attempting to become the first to land on the moon's south pole. If successful, it is hoped the lunar south pole could serve as a future base on the moon due to the presence of water ice that allows astronauts and scientists to work there for extended periods of time. They're also saying it could even provide an insight into past lunar volcanoes, maybe even the origins of our own oceans here on Earth. Well, let's get the thoughts now and views of space and planetary scientist Andy Lanz, who can join us once more. Andy, thanks for your time. Um, it is a bit of a sort of uh, nail-biter because the Russians failed. Indeed, the Indians failed their last attempt back in 2019. Yes, thank you for having me. Yes, indeed. This is the, this is the exciting part of space science, as we say. You know, it's got to get 17 minutes to drop from orbit down to the surface of, of the moon, uh, dropping from about 6,000 kilometers an hour to, to just a, a couple of kilometers. Okay, now India's lunar probe, Chandrayaan 3, has landed on the moon's south pole. India is the first country to touch down on this part of the moon, which is believed to hold pockets of water ice. It's a moment to be celebrated. Let's get the latest now to, from our India correspondent, Rebecca Bandun. Rebecca, good afternoon. Just a few hours ago, President Ramaphosa of South Africa mentioned the fact that uh, uh, this, uh, this vessel was headed to, to the moon from India. And there was a lot of applause here in the summit of BRICS at, uh, in Sentin about it. It has happened. How did it go?
Yeah, it was certainly some very tense moments just ahead of that landing as it was making its descent towards the moon. Because if we remember back in 2019, India attempted a similar mission trying to land on the moon's surface at the Southern Pole region, and it actually failed at the last moment. Uh, so everybody was holding their breath. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was watching virtually from South Africa, from Johannesburg. He's at that BRICS summit. He was looking on. He also looked a bit nervous. But one once it was announced and it was seen that it had been successful and the spacecraft. India's space agency is celebrating the successful moon landing of its Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. Viewers in the control room erupted into cheers as the landing module touched down. It is the first ever landing on the moon's unexplored South Pole. India's prime minister watched the landing remotely and celebrated in modest fashion. A solar-powered 